Good morning, I'm Jared Lyons. My new book is out today, and I'm here to talk about the book at the Big Thinking Breakfast, hosted by MSL Group. In my book, The Constellations of Economics, it's an upbeat view about the outlook for the global economy and why we should be positive. And to understand what's likely to happen, I talk about the four key drivers of the global economy. Economic and financial power, which is making the global economic cake bigger. Hard power, which is effectively military spending. Soft power, which is the power persuasion, indeed anything that's not military spending. And both hard and soft power reside in the West. And the other key driver is policy institutions and policy issues. So combining the four together, economic and financial power, hard power, soft power, policy making institutions. And the bottom line is the global economic cake is going to get significantly bigger, far more so than most people appreciate or realize. How important is communications to the global economy is a key question. In fact, communication is vital even if you're not in business. One of the biggest challenges since the financial crisis, in my view, has been the fact that many politicians, many policymakers in the West have not provided a sufficient context to the general public about what's currently happening, why there was a crisis, why there's been a payful adjustment in recent years. But the most important thing, coming back to your question, is to basically aim ahead in terms of both the business and indeed in terms of our own personal life. Business community needs to appreciate the underlying key drivers of the global economy to understand where the opportunities lie ahead, why we need to embrace change, and the ability to communicate not only to your own staff, not only the ability to understand yourself, but more importantly, the ability to communicate to your customers about what's going to be necessary in order to sort of benefit and position from the changing global economy. In economics, and sometimes in business, there tends to be what I call a status quo bias. When things are going well, everyone thinks the good times are going to continue forever, then get caught out. And in recent years, because it's been bad, some people tend to think the bad times are going to continue forever. The reality is very different. And this book outlines, in my view, why we should be prepared for some significant changes. In some respects, it's like trying to see the world from 36,000 feet rather than five or six feet. What do I mean? When you come in to land at an airport, sometimes it's quite exciting if you're by a window seat, certainly. You look out and you think, gosh, London looks very different or whichever place it is looks very different from up here. And I've tried to look down from above, taken on board the fact I've been traveling, having worked in the financial markets for the last 25 years, to give a global perspective. There are global drivers, there are regional drivers, there are local drivers. When you combine them all together, it's pretty complex. Therefore, it's not surprising that people find the immediate outlook very uncertain. But it's important to look at the world from 36,000 feet because then you see it very differently. You see some of the key drivers, so-called plate tectonics of the world economy, and they're really positive. Urbanization, population growth, innovation, it's all about positioning yourself so that you as a company, you as an individual, or indeed, if you're running a country, you as a country, position yourself in what is undoubtedly, in my view, one of the most exciting periods of the global economy in the next 20, 25 years.